Guys, welcome back to another episode of ISO. If you are new to the channel, welcome. ISO stands for In Search Of. I'm always here to share with you guys tips on personal finance, how to keep a little bit more of our hard-earned money, and work a little less, enjoy life a little bit more. So tomorrow is an exciting day if you are an Amazon Prime member, because tomorrow is Amazon Prime Day. So usually it happens around July, but because of what's going down with coronavirus, uh, they postponed it into uh, October, uh, October 13 and 14 to be exact. So if you are a Amazon Prime member, um, get ready. But uh, I'm here to talk about how to save money, right? So I'm gonna uh, share with you a couple of mistakes that we, uh, we always make on this kind of uh, sales, not just Prime Day, any kind of sale, during, especially during the holiday when you have you know, Black Friday and all that. So this is the, the common seven mistake that we make Let's get to it. So for you to take advantage of Amazon Prime Day, you have to be an Amazon Prime member. So that's about $12.99 a month. Or if you're a student, um, they can cut that in half. So it's like six something. Um, and then if you can pay per year, just multiply that by 12. So um, I pay per year. And to me, it's good value because I buy a lot of things and um, they deliver within the, the, the time frame I want. You know, one day, two hour, two days to my door I never have any problems so I enjoy having this benefit and then you know Amazon have a great show um, on their Amazon movies and stuff so I, I don't mind paying for the Amazon Prime the uh, if you're not uh, make sure that you, you sign up they have an auto renewal function make sure that you after the 30 day go back there and cancel it otherwise they're gonna charge you the monthly fee if you just want to take advantage of the, of the uh, Amazon Prime day and then cancel your membership, make sure you go back and do that. You know, um, signing up for the Amazon Prime, uh, just to take advantage of, of that may not be worth it for you. Maybe you don't have to like one item that you want. Um, and then, you know, if you know, your brother has it or your mom has it, you can just ask them to buy it and then you don't have to go through the whole process. Uh, I think if you have the Alexa, you sign up for Prime Day, they give you like $5 credit or if you shop at Whole Foods, I think they give you like 10 bucks. Uh, told with this Prime Day. So the, the whole idea is they want you to spend money uh, on this day. And uh, the first mis mistake is knowing about this day at all. <laughs> that, that would be your mistake. Otherwise you would disregard it, right? Tip number two would be uh, shop without a list. Um, something say exclusively uh, for Amazon Prime member doesn't mean that you have to spend money on it just because you pay for the membership so you feel obligated to spend money on it. and uh, or. Just like uh, going to grocery, uh, grocery shopping and you don't go with a list or especially when you're hungry, you want to spend way more and, you know, on things you may not need. So shopping without a list is, uh, is another problem. And then the, uh, the third thing would be um, to shop um, just because they say exclusively on, uh, for Amazon Prime members. Maybe you don't need it. To, um, to uh, mistake number four, um, is to go shopping without a budget. So you see something on sale, um, let's just say, I don't know, like a TV, um, go down at like, 200 bucks or something, you just buy them uh, without knowing what your budget is. Maybe you don't need the, the TV in the first place. Um, so usually what I do throughout the year is I have a, a wish list or I have items that are sitting in my cart for sometime a whole year, entire year when it's, it's an expensive item. And it's fluctuating throughout the year. And when it comes down to this time, um, things like, you know, for example, uh, kids' toys, uh, pet stuff, uh, appliances, TV, electronic stuff, they usually go on sale around this holiday time. And usually, I also notice too, is that the good stuff usually don't. So even if you, uh, so if you don't have a budget, that would be a disaster because um, you're gonna just go on there and just say, oh, we go down 20, uh, 200 bucks or whatever. And you click on it uh, and, and buy that particular TV without doing research on other TV in the same category. You may, you may have 200 bucks on that same TV, but if you choose a different brand or go with, different, with, with a different seller on Amazon, you, you can save a whole bunch more and you don't know that. So not having the budget is another problem. Um, scarcity is always, uh, what retailers use, uh, either in person or virtually. Um, you know, they always say, oh yeah, you have uh, 40 hours to buy this, or it's gonna go away forever. Um, usually, uh, you always see that deal come back 
uh, at a later time. So if you don't see that, you know, for example, you go to, um, you see how much people line up at Walmart, for example, on Thanksgiving, uh, I mean, not Thanksgiving, the Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, uh, to buy this uh, off-brand TV to save, uh, I don't know, two, again, 200 bucks. And then the same TV would go uh, on sale after Christmas for like 500. I would never understand the logic, but scarcity is what people, um, retail use um, a lot. So if you, if you already have an item in the cart like me for the whole entire year, you gotta know how, what you should expect it to, 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 to buy that. And then if you only dip, you only dip a little. And if it is good stuff, you usually dip just a little. Um, or especially when um, they're about to have a new model come out. Um, or the, um, the, uh, the that series, it just discontinue. That's when it go really down, but otherwise, uh, it just goes just a little bit. I always say our, the, the, the worst enemy for, for us is ourselves. So if you don't wanna uh, waste so much money on this Prime Day, um, you should always um, set a budget aside. If you don't trust yourself, uh, buy, uh, just buy a virtual Amazon gift card and put it on like 100 bucks, 200 bucks, whatever the budget is. And just when you pay, using that card so that you know the balance keep deducted so you can see it. Uh, Cause it's so easy when you just go in there and, and, and see buying things for like $12, $18, it add up real fast. And if you don't have, actually have a list or a budget, you would go over it so fast. So uh, one way to control that would be a, would it, would be a gift card. Uh, uh, the next uh, mistake is we tend to skipping out on um, uh, some, some of the best categories. For, so for example, the one I mentioned before, for example, kids, toy, pet stuff, appliances, uh, TV, or just electronic stuff. So if you keep an eye on it throughout the year, now is the time for you to go in there. So for example, I have this uh, uh, rechargeable um, wireless uh, battery. Um, I've been sitting, it had been sitting in my car for a while. So I know I'm gonna go back there and see it. Uh, also, they have a lot of hours uh, Amazon has a lot of uh, you know newspaper books and all that stuff that go on sale. Usually, I buy a whole bunch of uh, books and uh, subscription to magazine that's super cheap. Sometimes they are free uh, on those days. You can test them out. So um, don't miss out on the best category that you keep an eye on all year long. So like the car category I just mentioned, go through them uh, to see if anything that's on your your list, and then go back to. Uh, those items on this Amazon Prime Day. The last thing I would say is Amazon is not the only one doing it because Amazon is the biggest uh, online retailer. So all the people you know, have now catch up. So uh, for the next, you know, for the next two days when Amazon has this Prime Day, it's also all the retailers. So for example, you know, Target, Walmart, um, they have their, you know, their own strategy. They copycat, you know, they, they try to follow Amazon footsteps. So if you do, um, if you don't do go shop, shop at all those category. I mean, all those retailers, because sometimes they're cheaper than Amazon, and you don't need to uh, go to Amazon for this. Um, and then the, um, the the bonus thing I would say is, uh, don't just shop on your computer. Uh, use uh, I use the app, so the Amazon app will tell me when the deal uh, runs out. So they, you know, they have those again with the scarcity things that they have the little uh, bar of how many, how much time left on the deal, and it will tell you so that you you don't forget and go back and buy it. Remember, it's it's their job to remind you to spend money. So trust me, they will go back and tell you when it's due, um, and then you're gonna pay up to get that that, that price. So the last two, um, the last two, uh, two 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 tips I have is. Uh, all the retailers may have the same or better deals than Amazon, and then uh, use the Amazon app, not just on the website. That's all the, uh, the common mistake and the few tips I have for you guys to be prepared for Amazon Prime Day tomorrow. So uh, please hit like and subscribe to this channel. That would help, uh, help me a lot. That will spread this message out to uh, all the people to see, uh, to get prepared for tomorrow, Amazon Prime Day. So happy hunting, guys. See you guys on the next video.